Now joining us, a man who knows how to fight back, Democratic Congressman Alan Grayson from Florida. Congressman, it's great to have you on. Thank you. All right, now, Congressman, of course, i got to start with the obvious question. Uh, you know, you, you were a very hard fighter uh, for your side. Everybody knows that. Uh, but you wound up losing the election. So tell us what happened and why you think that happened. Well, it's very simple. Democrats didn't vote. Uh, in my district, in the early voting, the Republican turnout was down 20 percent from 2008, and the Democratic turnout was down 60 percent. That wasn't just my district. That was districts all over Florida, where we lost four seats. It was districts all over the country, except for parts of the West Coast and New England. Everywhere, Democrats didn't vote because they didn't feel like voting. And if Democrats don't vote, then Democrats can't win. Well, so why do you think they didn't vote? What, what drove the apathy, if you will? I think that Democrats are saddened and demoralized by this policy of appeasement. Uh, the other side has what they regard as a winning strategy. You can summarize it in one word with two letters. The strategy is no. Whatever the Democrats want, the answer from the Republicans is no. And they're able to ride that to a 66-seat victory in the House, depending upon how the last few races happen to come out. So they've got their strategy intact. What about our strategy? Our strategy for two years has been appeasement. And look where it got us. I think Democrats want to see a fighting leadership. They want to see a fighting president, somebody who actually accomplishes good things for constituents, someone who makes progress on the Employee Free Choice Act, someone who makes progress on immigration, someone who makes progress on civil rights, someone who makes progress on women's rights. That's what they want to see, and they haven't seen it yet.